curious about why some people are just raving about group coaching, now you can find out why. Hey, Michelle, business coach here with Louise Hancocks from Head to Toe Massage Therapy. Louise and I thought that we would jump on and talk a little bit about group coaching. Louise has done some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me and a lot of group coaching with me. And I know that she sees lots of benefit in the group coaching. All of the girls in the Fem Powered group coaching do, but I thought it's better to hear it from someone else. So Louise, what would you say is the main benefit of group coaching over the one-on-one -on -one coaching for you personally? Hearing other people's perspective of business you get a sense of where they are as far as their levels are and you can see where you've been you can see um, where you're going because everyone's at slightly different levels um, and it's there's always learning even though you might be coaching someone particular in the group you're always learning something and there might be some questions that maybe you're a wee bit reluctant to ask because it might be a little bit silly but um, those those questions can be asked and I think it's a really safe environment because there's such a good lot of women all doing the same things and um, and it, it's the support and the ideas and and some people have been through what you're going through um, so there might be a different perspective of how they did things that might be different from how you're um, seeing things and you might go and you'll get a, a ha moment and um, and I just like the fact that I can support other women because I've been further down the track yeah. um, with and, their growth as well. And it is for women only and it's all hand-picked women so so you can't yes. just get into Fem Powered without, without going through a gatekeeping process to see if you'd be a good fit because it's so important right to be Absolutely. in a where you feel 100% supported and safe to say whatever it is that you want to say and yeah. that's yeah. interesting that you say that you get a different perspective because sometimes i suppose we have such a linear kind of mm. thinking that when you hear someone else's way of doing it it gives you a whole new ab you know like it it almost opens up all these other doors in the mansion that you never even realized were there well absolutely because if you're if you're out doing business by yourself or well, where do you get advice and it's a little bit different as women because we are a bit more intuitive a bit more um soul connected so when i started i found that you know the, the books that you can read and the information can be a little bit more structural and masculine and doesn't always apply for where i am in business mm. so it it can be a feeling that maybe you just slightly don't get it or you're a bit inadequate or you know what's missing but i'd never think about that louise like we all i find like for myself and and all of the women in business that i've coached we tell ourselves that we're not quite good enough but i've yeah. never really related it to the fact that all of the business advice out there and even the follow the six steps to get to mm. it's all related in a way that works for men but it just doesn't work for soul-based business no. like ours and i wonder we feel a bit stupid yes and i think there's some basic structures that you really kind of need but it just didn't seem right and and but even like just structures in a way that work for you, right? Like, I mean, you know, yeah. I'm fond of saying there are no rules. Hate the rules, yeah. bust the rules, bust the bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you can take a structure and you can yes. take all of the waffle and you can take all of the, this should be done this way and chuck it all out and keep two tiny little bits and get the same results in half. The Absolutely. Time. So it's very good to to be in that, that with women. And as you say, you handpick them. So that we're kind of all similar, you know, we've got different, different businesses but we are kind of connected in a, in a way so it, it's it's really good so you know I'm a bit further down the track than than some of them but I'm still learning stuff um, even um, because my business is changing where I'm in my business how I'm growing it is changing so it's always there's always learning uh, on the way you know um, and at the beginning you said that you quite often learn things when I'm coaching other people what about when I'm coaching the people that are like right at the beginning of their businesses are you still learning when I'm coaching them about things oh well, yeah I, absolutely and I think oh why didn't I do that <laughs> well that's something I could have looked at differently but it may be that certain things where they're learning is applicable because you know like there's there's certain um businesses that are more where i'm a tactical um bricks and mortar business 
um, there's people that are doing their business online. So I'm learning while you're telling them how to do it. I'm learning also because that's an aspect that I can grow into um, that can add to my business in, in different ways and, and finding different ways that that can be applicable to my business. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. Fantastic. Great. So, yeah. And, and I mean, it, it's crazy good value, right? I mean, it's, it's half oh. the price of one-on-one -on -one coaching, but it's got four times as much coaching in it, plus all the courses, plus all the access to all the tools. And, and oh, and the tools are, the tools are marvellous. And then having the, you know, like the um, Facebook group and, you know, people put out their creative, you know, they've been on, they're learning things and they're putting it out there and, and being, and I think being uh, in an environment where you feel safe to put that out there and get some, you know, um, support from people who are in the same kind of space as you, I think is is really beneficial. So yeah. And we've been in business for a long, long time now. I mean, like you run a really successful business. How do you find the training? So Wednesday is where I do the, the group coaching, but I coach you individually on your businesses. So you all yeah. work for each other. Thursday morning is where I do the trainings. Do you still learn from the trainings, even though you've been in business for such a long time? Oh, oh yes, because the train is the trainings are really good because I don't pretend I know everything. And sometimes it's, you don't know what you don't know. Yeah. And there might be just a little tidbit that um, can make something that you might not think you're struggling with, but it, it just makes something clicks and, and it, um, you think, ah. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I think, yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it just kind of super, supercharges those yeah. results. It's crazy, isn't it? I mean, you can get yeah. the most massive change in your business by making the smallest, smallest results. Yeah. And I think a lot of time when people come to coaching, they're like, oh my God, but it's too much work to change my whole business. It's like, but it's not, darling. It's not. No, like, just no. Change that tiny little bit. And yep. I mean, often, like really, I mean, like you've coached with me for quite a while now. You know yep. the biggest change that everybody gets in the group coaching is a change of mindset. It Absolutely. Is, out of doubt, the biggest change in your business. I mean, I give you lots of tools, but actually it's never the tools that you grow from. It's always the no. shift up here. And, and so it just seeing something a bit clearer and it's kind of like a ongoing kind of one little thing can spark it and you change it then that kind of ripples into something else and next thing you've got another idea here and it's it's like it's really exciting and and now we hear from Pam coaching has made given me a heap of confidence um, to continue forward in my business in a supportive environment how would you say that being in, in a group has helped you more than being on your own? It's given me confidence um, to know others also had the same issues and um, just to hear how they deal with them to move forward. So I'm not alone. Um, if I have issues, I can get collective feedback on them and it gives me motivation if I get stuck or second guessing myself and my business. Yeah. And what about being coached in front of all of those people in the beginning? I mean, when you first joined the group and I coached you in front of them and asked you to, to lay your soul bare and let me look at all your, all your issues so that we could, you know, work through them and get you solutions that would work for you. How, how did that feel in the beginning compared to how it feels now? It was scary to start with because I thought um, everybody was just going to have these smooth no hiccups you know what I mean just a really smooth path and I here was me not knowing myself or my business properly and then it was really cool to hear that you know people had those issues or they have hiccups or indecision and so it didn't make so when I feel like that it didn't make me feel like I was the odd one out as, and it was just great to be able to get feedback. I think that you will always continue to have the group coaching now that you've had it rather than go back to one-on-one -on -one coaching. Oh, definitely. Like I really look forward to my coaching meetings. You know, it's, it's something to look forward to, something to grow from, something to expand from yeah. and, and just, you know, friendships. Yeah, no, awesome. Would you say that you learn, I mean, in the first coaching session that we do, because we do two coaching sessions a week, one is a training session and one is actual individual help for your business. In that session, do you find that you learn a lot when I'm coaching the others and you're listening? Do you find you learn- Oh, definitely. I'm me? always scribbling little notes down, you know? <laughs> it's like, um, if you give somebody their homework and I'm like, oh, I can relate to that, you know? And I scribble yeah. it down. So yeah. it gives me something to like brainstorm later on. Little because things I that 
if I'm going around on the old hamster wheel and I think, well, if I try that, that might be a solution to a problem I'm having. And now we're going to hear from Jane and she tells us what she gets out of the group coaching and especially how she likes all the additional tools. Other people that are sort of ahead of me have done different work and, and I can get uh, inspiration from them. Yeah, yeah, and it's nice to see the results, right? So you're like, oh, I could try that and what is the result that it got them? So it can almost give you the, the, the power and the motivation you need to actually give it a crack. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And it is really motivating and inspiring to see what other people are doing and how they're getting there and they still freak out as well. Yeah, <laughs> and it's okay, it's perfectly normal. Totally fine, yeah. And of course, doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, we built up quite a rapport, right? How did, yeah. you, how did you find being coached in front of the group when you first started and how do you feel about it now? Um, it didn't really bother me, to be honest. I found, it, yeah, I think it's helpful for other people at the same time, so. Yeah. I guess I come from a place of wanting to help people. So if if my stuff can help other people's stuff, then that's great. Um, yeah. But yeah, I've used your other resources um, like, you know, the Hex Code website to get my branding colors, um, Canva, um, all of those help. Those resources are really awesome. That's right. I forget that they're in there. Like I say to everyone, yeah. there's three free courses that you start with and then you get to pick one each month and whatever you want to do. But I forget, I've actually got not, you know, I've got a whole page no, no. of these are the tools that I actually use in my business. How do you find the training sessions? Really helpful. Um, I generally um, sort of listen along and um, come back to it if I need to, or if I find it something that I really need to dive deeper on yeah. um, because of the sort of the time of day, but I still <laughs> surprisingly have been able to join the meetings um, even at 7 a.m., which I'm still actually quite surprised that I've managed to do it. <laughs> you <laughs> might be fun. getting my son ready for school at the same time, but I can listen, um, listen in on my headphones and and just get the work done later. Yeah, and and we record those training sessions and upload them into the Facebook yeah. group, of course, so you can always come back to them, you know, should you need them. Yeah. Yeah. And coaching at seven o'clock in the morning is done, so that you know we can actually do it and then meet our other commitments, us busy juggling yeah. women, and seven o'clock's okay? You don't find getting up too early and having to turn your brain off? No. Up. I first thought, oh God, how am I supposed to do that with getting a six-year-old ready for school? But as I said, like I jump on and often just have a couple of quick questions that I need to sort through and get some feedback on and then I'm away. Maybe group coaching is right for you too. Email me and let's chat. <laughs>